All right, everybody. We have made it to Paducah, Kentucky. We are fixing to lay down for the night. Um, I left from Atlanta this morning. They left from the house, picked me up in Atlanta. We got it here to Paducah, got some dinner. We're going to go down for the night, get back up in the morning, and make our way the rest of the way to Illinois. We'll keep you guys updated on the rest of the trip. All right, everybody, we are up on this beautiful Monday morning. We're out the hotel. We got us some grub. We're stopping here at the pilot, getting some fuel and some snacks for the road. We got three cars going down the road today. There's nine of us here now. Um, we got two more that's on the road already this morning and one more that we're picking up at the airport. <laughs> He's actually coming from a hunt in Texas, got on an airplane. He's coming here and coming to hunt in Illinois with us. So, uh, how about that? But anyways, we're riding luxury today. And uh, like I said, we got another guy over there in a car and then we got a pickup truck in the back with a trailer with a bunch of our stuff. Let's see if John will roll the window down. This is John, y'all. Ready to go. Yep, ready to go. All right, everybody. Anybody that's been on any kind of hunting trip knows that if you pass a Bass Pro or a Cabela's, that it is 100% mandatory that you stop. I don't know why, but you're going to have to have some. Unlock the car for me. I need my wallet. So we're about an hour from the lodge. We've got some time to kill. Um, Check-in's not till 2. But, you know, like I said, if you pass a Bass Pro or Cabela's, you're required to stop. So we're following the Brotherhood Code, and we're going to go in and pick up some junk that we don't need. <laughs> but that's what you got to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to Pike County, Illinois. We're here checking in at their check-in lodge is what you want to call it. They have three different lodges here at Hadley Creek. Um, I'm not really sure which one we're going to. I know we're not going to the same one we went to last year, but uh, they're all super nice places. Um, but we did make it and we're getting geared up. We're gonna get all of our junk out of the trailer this afternoon and get everything packed up and ready to go out first thing in the morning. I think we're gonna have some mild weather tomorrow. It's calling for a little bit of rain tomorrow and possibly Friday. Uh, hoping to be done by Friday though. But <clears throat> anyways, we're probably gonna get wet tomorrow. We got our rain suits and um, some people will be in lock-ons, some people will be in box blinds. So. Uh, people in lock-ons were probably going to get wet, but that's all right. That's what it's all about. We're going to give it the the uh, college try, and and somebody will hopefully turn up with something. All right, everybody, I felt there's a couple things we need to go over. You guys saw me shoot the Raven, and if you've ever shot one, inside of the scope, you've got basically mill dots, say 20, 30, 40, 50, and they are dead on. But you've got to pick the right dot, or it ain't going to happen. Um, my pa-in-law learned that last year. He got a little sided. <laughs> and his concentration is going to be better this year and uh, hopefully we can get him something on the ground so we'll see what happens Got the targets out here. 
Yes, I do. That way some of us can practice shooting the right dots. So, haven't seen anything all morning. I thought maybe I just made a bad decision sitting on a food plot with all the wind. And about five minutes ago, I'm looking down the food plot and a freaking guy steps right out of the middle of the CRB, walks down the food plot to the other end and gets into other stand 150 yards away from me where the cross Once he gets up there, I guess he spotted me. And he starts looking at me through the scope with his crossbow. So I grabbed my bow and dialed it to 100, and I was fixing to start swinging. And, uh, and he got down, and he walked off over towards the edge of the woods and walked all the way around the edge. And I lost him on the other side of the grass. So we're about to start packing it up. Um, so the guy walked out about eight o'clock. Um, I hadn't seen anything before then. I haven't seen anything after then. So um, I don't know if the wind had a messed up. I'm sure him walking through didn't help, but the combination of both just wasn't the uh, wasn't the ticket today. So face and start packing up and we're going we're going to move to a different spot after lunch maybe down in the woods in the bottom somewhere hopefully we don't have anybody pop out of us down there but that's uh, how it goes so we'll see what happens this afternoon and we'll get a bite to eat and we'll get back after it
What's up everybody? Welcome back to the M4 Outdoor channel. We've been kind of slack about posting here lately. It's just been crazy with the holidays and general year end stuff, but we're back. We did get some great footage in Illinois. We're gonna show you that here in just a second. And we also have a few other videos we're gonna be posting later on in the week to kind of get you back up to speed on everything we've been doing around here. So in Illinois, um, it was an awesome trip. First off, Hadley Creek Outfitters is an awesome outfitter. If you're looking for somewhere to go in Illinois, they're awesome. Um, but I had something happen to me that I've never had happen on a hunt like this. Uh, not Hadley Creek's fault, not anybody's fault. You can't control it. But I was hunting a 1800 acre farm that is very secluded and my stand wasn't even close to a boundary line. And the way Hadley Creek works is when you get to when you get out of the truck and you walk to your stand, you don't talk, you don't, you know, they're they're very specific about what they want, how they want it. Um, because you're not the only person hunting there. There's other people that they have coming in the next week and the next week, you know. So they really try to preserve all their farms and think about the the you know what they can get the best um what am I trying to say? What they can get the best performance out of it, I guess. So anyways, I was sitting in a stand and I was in a food plot and straight across from me, there's another stand. They got them set up so they can play the wind, you know, on both ends. And I was sitting in a stand and just kind of hanging out. And it was about 8.30, I guess, eight o'clock maybe, pretty early. And all of a sudden I'm looking down the food plot and I see a guy just jump out jump out of the crp into the food plot and i'm like what the heck so guys got full camo on and a crossbow and you'll see in the video but it just blew my mind the guy turns sees the other stand at the other end doesn't even turn around and look at me walks straight to it and gets in the stand like he just owned the place so i was texting my guide and i was like hey you know got somebody walking around over here and he shot that way and tried to catch the guy the guy saw me once he got up in the stand and um once he saw me he got down and darted but they never caught him and uh it you know it really aggravated me because we've been hunting hard and we've seen we'd seen plenty of deer but never got the opportunity to get a good one and so it, it really aggravated me because it was early in the morning and then it got to mid morning and didn't want to move mid morning so i just sat it out and didn't end up seeing anything ultimately but that's how it goes that's hunting but that uh it really blew my mind but we got some good footage we saw plenty of deer the weather was just not in our favor the first day we got there we got in the stand and it was like going on a dove hunt i mean i was in a pair of regular britches and a long sleeve shirt and that was it and then on the last day it was 40 mile an hour winds and snowing so it just it went from one extreme to the other and the weather wasn't in our favor but that's hunting that's just how it goes uh so like and subscribe sorry it's taking so long to get back post but i mean to get back posting but like i said we've got some other stuff coming this week so be sure to check that out and we hope you enjoy this video